Write this out, we have 27 x to the third power plus 1. We see that there's no common factor, and then we notice that there are two terms. So we are going to factor this by using a formula. Then before that, because this is the third power, that means we are going to put this into something to the third power plus something to the third power first. This is going to be the sum of two cubes. So to fill in these parentheses, look at this, originally it's 27, we have to ask ourselves what times what times what will give us 27. And the answer to that will be 3. So we have 3, and also we attach the x, because if we have 3x in the parentheses, raised to the third power, we end up with 3 to the third power which is 27, x to the third power is x to the third power. How about 1? How can we fill in this? What times what times what is equal to 1? Well, 1. 1 times 1 times 1, of course, is equal to 1. And now, by putting down in this format, we are ready to factor. But then before that, we need to remember and use the formula. First, we remember the formula a to the third power plus b to the third power, the sum of two cubes. This is going to be a plus b. That's the first parentheses. And then for the second parentheses, we will have a to the second power, but then we minus ab and then plus b squared. So remember this formula and then pay close attention to the sign. Plus, plus, and then minus, minus, just like that. So the formula is very similar to the difference of two cubes, but then pay attention to the sign. These two are different signs compared to the um, difference of two cubes formula. Anyways, we'll go ahead and use this formula to factor this out. The formula says we first have to have a plus b, so we go ahead and put down the a is 3x, and then b is the 1, so we have 3x plus 1 for the first parentheses. And then for the second parentheses, we are going to have a squared, well, we look at the a is 3x, so what we have to do is, we put down 3x in the parentheses, and then square that. So don't forget to do 3 to the second power, that will give us 9 and then we will have the x squared right next to it. And then, this right here is going to be minus, minus what? a times b, that means this times that. So we have 3x times 1, that's 3x. So once again, let me put this down for you guys. This is just because we have 3x times 1. And lastly, we are going to add b squared. So we will add 1 squared, which is just 1. But then technically, this is because 1, and then we square that. And after we apply the formula right here, we are done. This part right here, even though it's a trinomial, but then you don't need to bother to do a tic tac -toe with this, because the formula stops right here, because this right here is not factorable. So this right here is the answer. That's it. 